And you know what else can be epic? The conference finals. And game one of the Easter Conference Finals. That, that was, was something that was last night, was, man. No, that was epic. Coming down to it in 8.5 seconds to go. The turnover off the hand of Siakam. Then has Jalen Brown connect for three out of the corner and tie the game at 117. This is a game that, especially if you're an Indiana player, you're not happy, especially if you know the closing seconds in the game. You had the game, wow. you just throw two calls and turn over, you just let it slip away. You're definitely not happy with yourself if you're the Pacers. Indiana did their best uh, Reggie Miller impression. No, that, that Reggie Miller would have won that game. Yeah, you, you see Tyrese Halliburton oh. hoodie. That was, that, was a, that was a ball for possession. Tyrese Halliburton yeah. hoodie had Reggie oh, Miller. Oh, my goodness. Turnover by Tatum here, and Halliburton fouled shooting three and connects on all of them. And so in overtime, Indiana's got the lead. And then Boston. Oh, my God. Like you got the foul harder than that. They got like three offensive rebounds before you got that. that. Man, I wouldn't, you can't give up three-point plays. Yep. 124, 123, and then Halliburton losing control. Wow. Yeah, it's a lot of time still, Chuck, to come win the game early. That's what I'm it's talking about. Those times, they they had that turnovers. man second team on defense. Tatum at this. Had 36 wow. and 12 on the night. And the Boston Celtics on their floor win game one, 133 to 128 in overtime. Couple of numbers you look at the turnovers for one. 22 Indiana turnovers leading to 32 Boston points. And that advantage at the foul line, 24 to nine. You can throw all the stats out there you want. Yeah. That was a gag job. They I blew that true. game. Yes, it, they, yes, they did. The Pacers deserve to win that game. They didn't get any sleep last night. It's going to be a long 48 hours before the next game because that was 100% just a choke job. The, the turnovers and the out of bounds play, you got to be sick to your stomach if you're the Pacers. But they outplayed the Boston Celtics. And uh, I felt uh, the, the turnovers, but there were two turnovers. In this play right here, this cannot happen. First of all, obviously, they should have took the ball at half court. And which, but, Rick, which Rick Carlisle admitted to yeah, after but, the game. Yeah, but you, can't, turned give it over up, half you, court you can't give up that three with five seconds to go, man, under any circumstance. I agree with Chuck. And to add to that, Ernie, there's nothing worse as a player, especially in Western Eastern Conference Finals, when you beat yourself. Yeah. When you have a pace like Chuck said, I'll play my old game, and then a minute, 45 seconds left, you can't have no turnovers. They end up having two or three turnovers. The, the three, real quick, the three by Jalen Brown that we're talking about. Let's hear from Pascal Siakam and Rick Carlisle on that play. Was there instruction to foul before that Brown three, even though there wasn't really a chance to do so? Yes, but he caught the ball and he was faced up, so Pascal decided to lay off, which was, you know, I understand you know, that's probably the right decision. You don't want to give up a four-point play. It was just a judgment call. Like, I, I mean, I felt like he was going to this motion. Like, he had a pump fake. Like, I didn't want to, you know, foul Dan. And it's a tough shot. Like, I mean, like, I was in front of him, you know. It was just, yeah, a tough play. This loss is, is totally on me. Our guys just need to concentrate on fighting the way they fought in this game from start to finish. And we got to get ready for Thursday. Well, you know, basketball is a game of mistakes. Things happen. What you want to not have is unforced errors. Oh, wait, no. uh, Indiana Pacers had unforced errors yesterday. Lost the ball, bringing it up. There was no defensive pressure. Inbounding the basketball. That is, it doesn't matter if you moved it to half court, kept it at the, you just got to inbound the basketball because they have to foul you. So there is a difference in terms of unforced errors and errors. If someone plays great defense, blocks your shot, you're bringing them up, they pick you at half, that happens. But you lose it off your foot with the game on the line, those things cannot happen. Speaking of great defense, Boston has a problem on their hands. Porzingis has been out for a while now. He's supposed to return. He's not in playoff shape. He's, and everybody else is rolling. Al Horford is struggling so bad guarding the pick and roll that it's only a matter of time before it catches up to you. And I think they got to figure that out. They got great defenders all around. Al Horford has historically been a great defender. He made a good defensive play down the stretch. Yeah, but, uh, but it should have never been down the stretch if he's not struggling all game guarding the pick and roll. Well, here's a, here's a scene that uh, fans in Minnesota haven't uh, experienced in 20 years. Their team about to take the floor in the Western you Conference know, this, is a, this is a great city. This is a great city. 
it's great to have the Wolves back. You know, you got the Vikings, they got great fans. You got the Twins, they got great fans. This is a great city. I'm glad to be back. This team, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to get to Dallas. Dallas is one of my favorite cities. But I'm glad for Minnesota. It's gonna be awesome the next couple of days. I'm happy I got in town yesterday. The fans are ready to go. Uh, I saw Troy, you know, I saw a couple of guys that you know play when we all play. My advice to the young fellas here, take advantage of this moment, full advantage of this moment. Don't always think because you're young, you're gonna always get back. So if I'm Ant, if I'm Luca, I'm thinking about that championship, I'm thinking about that ball, and I'm going to work. I'm not, I'm not waiting for nobody. I'm coming out and do what I gotta do. I'm keeping these fans involved. We have the home court advantage. We need these first two games. I, I definitely agree with Shaq, they cannot lose home court advantage these first two games. You got this crowd gonna be in it. They got a whiteout in here, it's looking beautiful. It's been 20 years. Gotta give these fans what they want and also take advantage of the momentum of closing out the defending champions in game seven. Understand that this is not the moment. It could be extended. So understand that there's multiple games, multiple things, and not get caught up in trying to do everything in game one. Play as hard as you could, play hard, play smart, play together. And if you win or lose, you shake your hand and you keep it moving. I actually think that's a great point by Kenny because we don't know how this Timberwolves team is going to react. I mean, because they're the favorite in the West now. They've never been favored in the West. Nobody on that team has been favored in the West. Their best player is a young kid who's an emerging superstar. So I'm curious to see. We know what Luka and Kyrie are gonna do. They've been in this big situation before. But we, we don't know, and we don't know how Nas Reed's gonna react or any of those guys. But how, how big, when you look at it now, was winning game seven on the floor of the champions to get to this point right now and what kind of is there such thing as a carryover from a game like that into the next series i think it is because you're riding that high you're riding the momentum now on the flip side you can't have a letdown because that's such an emotional high that how do you get back to that level but not this time of year this is the conference finals i was this team hasn't been here i think they'll be ready to go no matter what i was in this position before i was watching the magic moment Documented. I was in this position before. We beat the great Michael Jordan. I know he wasn't Michael Jordan, but we beat them. Best player in the world. We had to play Indiana the next round. And I'm gonna agree, but disagree with you guys. I was saying that all the guys are gone. No Chuck, no Lance. It's my time. I'm going to work. I'm not waiting for nobody. So I understand you saying Lance not been here, but I love his mentality. I love the way he thinks. It's important the for him. The countdown begins now. It's hey, important Ernie, for him to I seize say, this moment, though. I want to say one more thing. The one thing that the Wolves got to be careful of, coming out so jacked up, and this crowd going to be going oh, crazy. Oh, they're going to be jacked up. They, I know they're going to be jacked up. <laughs> but I know, you but know that's what? the best right there, Chuck. Yeah, but I'm saying if they go Man. crazy with that adrenaline, they got to have some left for late in the game. Because yeah. they, they're going to be electric. The they're going to be electric. The crowd's going to be electric. They're going to be electric. The crowd's going to be electric. Very interested to see how they come out defensively. You saw how pumped up they were and Let how pressure they were against Denver. See how they do against Luka and Kyrie and company here in Denver. Plus, a Let me hear Chuck. conference final. Oh. And if, if you want epic, you don't want to miss Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Oh. Only in theaters this Friday. Oh. Help me out, Draymond. I can't go deep. Oh. <laughs>